Visual structure from motion or VSFM offers a GUI driven means to acquire dense 3D point clouds from collections of 2D photographs. The first step of the process is to load a collection of photographs. Examining loaded images shows they capture the chosen object using many different views, angles, and levels of magnification. It's most important that images overlap. Each part of the object must be present in several images. The SFM will scan the images for matching features using a scale invariant feature tracking method. Compute missing matches launches the standard feature matching process. Alternative feature matching options can speed up processing. With large collections of images, feature matching can take some time. A task viewer indicates processing status and records computation times. This group of images require 47 minutes to compute pairwise matching. A 3D view is activated and a compute 3D reconstruction is launched. The SFM builds a sparse 3D point cloud by setting up cameras in the 3D view and then rejecting matching image features as points in 3D space. Sparse 3D reconstruction provides live view manipulation with option to show and scale texture to cameras. Camera textures indicate elements derived from each image as the point cloud is constructed. The view is automatically refined to show only points visible to three or more cameras. As the point cloud assembles, it becomes clear that photographs have been taken to enclose the object in the cameras. A turntable and tripod ensure full coverage of the object in a controlled manner. Enclosement of the object is more evident when the view is zoomed and rotated. The virtual camera location is extrapolated from real-world turntable rotation and image XIS focal length value. When viewed from the side, several cameras use a low angle view, rejecting undercut parts of the object. A small platform was used to allow low angle photographs. As 3D reconstruction completes, it's clear that the sparse point cloud is a good representation of this object. Display of all points shows consistent sparse point density, offering good basis for dense point generation. The task view reports sparse 3D reconstruction took only 95 seconds. Dense 3D point reconstruction is initiated. A file navigation dialog presents for naming and location of saved dense point output. Progress is recorded in the task viewer. Depending on input source, one or more clusters or clouds of dense 3D points will be generated. In this case, 3D point clouds will be generated. The task viewer updates as each point cloud completes, reporting the number of points generated. When all dense point clouds have generated, the task viewer presents a final update, reporting total time spent for all point clouds. In this case, 13 minutes were required to generate just over 945,000 points. Dense point cloud output can be viewed and edited within the SFM. The view menu selects dense point cloud display. Almost all point clouds based on complex objects will have points created from shadows, color fringing, or background elements. Pressing F1 enters selection mode, allowing left click and drag selection of dense 3D points. Pressing the computer keyboard or delete key removes selected points. While easy enough for larger areas, points very close to the object surface may present some difficulty. MeshLab is often the preferred tool for editing point clouds and conversion to 3D mesh. Edited dense point clouds are saved using save selected model below the SFM menu. Multi cluster models are merged to a single point cloud during the save. Editing the SFM point clouds with MeshLab begins with loading of separate cluster files automatically saved during dense point cloud generation.
ESFM Boy Boy Cloud Flood with correct alignment forming an identical 3D scene to the unedited dense Boy Boy Cloud in ESFM. Launching the Mesh Lab Layers dialog shows each Boy Boy Cloud that has loaded on a separate layer. Layers are easily hidden, maybe improving visibility and simplifying selection of unrequired points. Multiple groups of points are easily selected using left click and drag and selection modifier keys. Points closer to the surface are much easier to isolate and select with far less risk of including the points required for surface reconstruction. Delete selected vertex, quickly remove selected points. When adjoining point with clouds are hidden, joins between edited areas are seamless. For speed's sake, mesh reconstruction is shown using a fully edited set of boy boy clouds based on the same set of images. Alternating ESFM feature mesh reductions resulted in four boy boy clouds. The layers right click menu flatten visible layers function is selected. In the options top, it's important to deactivate the lead layers. Unreferenced vertices must be active. If not, merging layers will delete all points. A successful result creates a new merge mesh layer duplicating all point clouds on a single layer. Filters sampling and quasi disk sampling is launched to down sample emerged point cloud. This creates more uniform point distribution and helps reduce the error noisy points. Basic mesh sub sampling must be active or the filter will fail and report an error. Successful filter execution creates a new awesome disk samples layer. The layer contains a down sample point cloud of just over 600,000 vertices. All other layers are deleted using the layers right click and menu functions. The new Wasa Disk Samples layer is exported. It's most important to activate the Save Vertex Normals option in the Export dialog. A point cloud must have Vertex Normals for surface reconstruction. Filters Point Set Surface Reconstruction Wasa is launched. This method is ideal for point clouds. It provides useful all filling resulting in watertight surfaces. Depending on the point cloud complexity, surface reconstruction may take some time to complete. Down sampling the point cloud that helps reduce reconstruction times. The point cloud layer is hidden and facing mode display is activated, showing the newly generated 3D mesh surface. Inspection shows the mesh to be a good representation of form and detail from the original object. Holes have been synthetically filled and the base of the object has been closed. This is ideal for 3D printing applications. The base is slightly domed. These faces can be selected and scaled to flatten them. If the object will be used for other CNC applications, these faces can be deleted. It may be desirable to have color from the original object represented in the mesh. Filters, sampling, and vertex attribute transfer is a fast and easy way to apply sample color from the point cloud to the mesh. The point cloud is deleted, leaving only the reconstructed mesh surface in the scene. If you desire, this object can be further optimized using other mesh lab functions. Alternatively, it can be exported in its current form in the user's preferred format. The SFM puts high-resolution 3D scanning in the hands of anyone with a basic DSLR or video camera. CMC or 3D printer basic duplication, reproduction, conservation or restoration can all benefit from this process.